I'm going to show you a potluck favorite or something you can make for the holidays. It's called chicken pot pie or you can call it chicken pastel. Let's get started. For the crust, you need two cups all-purpose flour, one fourth cup butter, one half cup shortening, one tablespoon sugar, one half teaspoon salt, and one half cup of cold water. For the filling, you need one fourth cup of butter, one tablespoon of chopped garlic, one cup of diced white onions, one kilo of chicken fillet cube, one can of Vienna sausage sliced, one half cup of canned button mushrooms sliced, one half cup of sweet corn, you can use whole kernel or cream style, two cups of diced carrots and potatoes, two tablespoons of white wine, you may omit, one half teaspoon salt or to taste, one half teaspoon white pepper, one tablespoon chicken powder, one and a half cups of water, one cup of all-purpose cream, two to three tablespoons all-purpose flour, two to three tablespoons of butter, one cup of grated cheese, or you can use cube cheese. We will make the crust by mixing together flour, salt, and sugar. And then you add in shortening. You can use all butter, but uh, the addition of shortening will make it easier to handle. We need butter for flavor. Right. And then you can cut in, if you have a pastry blender, you can use a pastry blender. Or you can do this. What I do is, I use my hands. This is the most, uh, this is the most effective and fastest way. You rub the shortening and the butter between your hands, like this. Make sure you use cold butter. You do this until the particles are, uh, they look like sand, they look like wet sand. If you have a, uh, a few big pieces, that's fine. And then next, we add in the cold water. We need cold water because we're using butter. Water is always variable. Sometimes you need more, sometimes you need less. It depends on the temperature of the butter and the, the, the flour also, the water content in the flour. All right. What you do is you press this together until the dough holds. If you'll notice, I still have about um, two tablespoons here. I'll just add that gradually. So you just press this, don't knead it like you make bread, just press this together, I need a little bit more. Every time you make a crust, water is always variable, see, until it, for it forms a ball like this, okay. Just press it together, once it holds like this, this is right, okay. Don't overhandle the dough so your crust will not be tough or hard to eat. Okay, so here. It does not have to be smooth. Okay, if you don't want to put plastic, what you can do is put it on a tray and invert it. Same thing. Okay. You will notice in this recipe, I have two measurements of butter. The first butter, we use that for uh, sauteing. The second butter, we use that for thickening. I will show you how to do that later. So we have here... This is one fourth cup of butter. When you cook with butter, you don't have to wait for the butter to melt. You can add in the garlic. You can use white onions, but uh, today, white onions are difficult to buy. There's a shortage of white onions, so we're using the red onions. You saute this until the onions are uh, translucent or they are soft also right here now this is chicken breast fillet it means there's no bone and then I just cut them into big cubes but the size is up to you the chicken pot pie and the chicken pastel are very similar actually the original uh, chicken pot pie it uses a uh, puff pastry crust 
But today, to make it easy, we're just using a regular pie crust. So this is just like chicken pastel. I'm waiting for the chicken to become white. And then we add in white wine. If you don't have white wine, it's all right. You can omit. And then you give it like maybe a minute or two for the alcohol to evaporate. And then we add in our seasoning. I'm using chicken powder. Then you have pepper. You can use white or black pepper. For the salt, I prepared one teaspoon. We will put a half teaspoon first. Alright. And then we will add here, we have our mushrooms. You can add more. You can double the mushroom. Same with the corn, you can double the corn if you want to. You can use cream style or you can use whole kernel. Then we have sausage. This is Vienna sausage. And then here, I have carrots and potatoes. Actually, uh, I have two pieces of carrots and two pieces of potatoes. It doesn't matter if they're big or small, all right? And then, we will put a little water. Okay. Enough to cook the potatoes and the carrots. Bring it to a boil. Lower the heat and cover, and we will cook that until, maybe I will check after 15 minutes. The potatoes are cooked, but they're not very tender yet. We will stop because we need to put this in the oven. Okay, seasoning to taste. So it's just one half teaspoon, okay? Then let's put in the cheese and the all-purpose cream. If you have cooking cream, you can use cooking cream. This is how you thicken with flour. You mix together equal amounts of flour and butter. You mix this. If it's cornstarch, you dissolve it in water. But this one, we're not using cornstarch, we're using flour. So this is what you do. You mix this and then you put this here. And then you will notice that the flour will not be lumpy. It will blend with the sauce. Okay, right? I will let this boil and then we're ready. If you want this thicker, you can add more starch or you can boil this longer. Okay, let's put this in the pot, in the container. Here I added some whole mushrooms just for, you know, so that they will be nice to look at, okay? But you don't have to. Let's pour this. And then here, remember the pastry that we made? Okay. So that the butter will not melt and stick to our rolling pin. So I will put plastic here. As I said, for ease, to make it easy for you, I will put the crust only on top. I will not put a crust on the bottom. If you want to put a crust on the bottom, all you have to do is double the recipe for the crust. Okay? When you roll out, always roll from the center going out. You can just put the whole thing here or you can make a lattice. Okay? What I'm going to do next is I'm going to make it in a rectangular piece to fit our container, okay? So what you do is you just patch. This is all right. Uh -huh. So see, okay. So here we patch this up already. Okay, I will flip this. Okay, here. So you lift and okay, all right. And then you 
you can float using the fork or you can do it this way something rustic doesn't have to be you know perfect you just do it this way see all right next we're going to brush this with egg all right i normally don't brush the ends because the edges because they brown too quickly and then after that i just do one like that on the ends okay and then what's very important is before you put this in the oven you have to make slits this is to vent steam so that the steam can come out and uh, the uh, crust will not pop out okay so let's put this in the oven I'm using the big oven today so you will not be able to see me put this inside the oven you bake this at 375 degrees for about 30 minutes or until the top browns all right because it's just the top that we need to cook when you put a glass container in the oven always put a tray underneath okay easier for you to handle and it also prevents it from slipping okay so let's put this in the oven i have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded here is our chicken pot pie from the oven we changed the tray because that one has no side it must it might slide off so this is done what you need to check is only the crust because the filling is already cooked okay once the crust is brown and it's cooked then it's done okay 